guys, so it's been a little while since I've actually sat down and done a proper commentary with you guys. And that's because a lot of things have been going on and a lot of things have changed since I've last done one. Um, I thought with the end of Halo 5's competitive scene, or the tournaments, it'd be a really good way to kind of address where my channel's going. And what you can kind of expect moving forward for the next 6 months and heading into Halo Infinite. So first and foremost, as you guys can probably tell, but I will show a photo of my setup now. I'm not playing on the side of my bed anymore. I did have um, like a little dresser and then my plasma screen monitor and I'd be like lent over on the side of the bed. Not anymore. Um, I now have my Xbox monitor sitting in my chair and I have like this awesome BenQ monitor. So shout out to Justin if you're watching this video. Thank you so much because he helped me set everything up and he helped me get my custom built PC. So if you guys do want to see regular streams, it would be pretty late in the US, but it could happen now. It could potentially happen now. So that's huge news and I'm so happy with that. On top of that, I obviously had to reinstall all my software. So that took a good couple of days to actually get the hang of everything. I still need a uh, new keyboard and a new mouse because this one's, uh, it's good for, it's really good, fast sensitivity. But as far as gaming goes, I really want to kind of not transition to PC gaming, but I know Halo Infinite is definitely going to be on PC. So it would be really good to have an awesome setup so I can kind of take full advantage of the game um, on controller and PC when it comes out. Which brings me to the topic of the video. Uh, it's at the end of Halo 5, and Halo 5 is now oh, over three years old, and I've outlined all the problems that are still with it. But um, I, I play with Brad and Job, we couldn't find a single game, so I've been running custom games, which has actually been hella fun, but even custom games, if you have more than four people, the game will crash. I don't know why, after every single game, it will just crash. Um, people get kicked out and then they'll have to rejoin, it kills the lobby. It's honestly worse than MCC. I didn't think anything could be worse than MCC custom games when the game launched. This is worse. That being said, Atlanta is now finished. Uh, Tox won the uh, DreamHack competition, uh, so that is kind of concluded. They've announced now to Halo 3 44 tournaments, so it'll be very interesting to see if the focus switches away from Halo 5 and then back to MCC, what's going to be giving more views. I guess time will tell with that. As for myself, there's still a lot of things that I kind of want to do on Halo 5, but I am going to take your feedback into consideration. So by that, I mean, do you guys want to see Halo 5? Do you want to see MCC? Or do you want to see a mix? Um, if you go either of two ways, it really depends how popular the game is and what updates come out per game. But the kicker is I want to expand what I'm doing. I've done montages for a while and I've kind of done that. I want to do something else. So if streaming is the next way for me to continue that while still doing what I've built up my channel around, I think that'd be really good. I think I can't think of a negative around that. So at the moment, it would be a video every three or four days. Then I could stream maybe three or four days a week, uh, mainly on weekends. And Instagram, I upload every single day a multi-kill of some sort that's probably a really good thing for me to add in too um if you guys don't follow me on instagram or twitter uh, if you want to see clips before they go live it's a very very good way uh, to see content before a video is going to go live in saying that i've been testing new maps for the team doubles update that's coming out and also it's like a halo 1.5 ce update the team doubles one will probably go live very very soon I think it's this week uh, because they uh, finalized the maps. I broke out of a couple of them in custom games. So that's one video. Uh, I captured the live reaction, which is pretty funny. Second is that other playlist I spoke about. I think it's going to be a while out because I found a lot of bugs. And it just got uploaded onto the featured section of the Halo 5 custom browser. So I think that was just to celebrate uh, C17's birthday. So that's another video. But then on the MCC side of things, I joined this really cool group called the Reclaimers and they basically get to, uh, well, I actually can't say much about it because I have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. But what I will say is a really cool group testing a lot of things with MCC and it's basically just the MCC insider but you get a cool little nameplate and you get to basically work behind the scenes and try and make the MCC the best it possibly could be. Because you guys know from past videos that I really do care about the Halo community and I really do care about how the games turn out and what your guys' overall experience is um, when you play Halo 5 or MCC. So hopefully being a part of that group can kind of communicate with 343 better and I can kind of, things you might want added into the game 
I can kind of push for it. I'm not going to necessarily get it, but I have, I have that open dialogue with them. I have that mutual respect with them. And I think it's really cool that they uh, have that like outreach towards the community um, because we can actually get a lot more things through than if they just stonewalled us and we couldn't have any communication or open dialogue at all. So as you guys can probably tell, I've been super duper busy. Uh, I have about 200 clips saved up from when the initial MCC update came out. So if you guys do want to see MCC, you want to see MCC montages specifically. Got a lot of video ideas surrounding that and I actually have a lot of clip hunter sessions recorded and I can go off whenever I have time to edit them. But that basically wraps up everything I wanted to say. I will reiterate that if you guys do want to see streams and you want to see them regularly, let me know and I can work it into my daily schedule. It would be really cool to hang out with you guys on Twitch and I feel like that's the one part of my channel that I was missing. I always wanted to stream. So with my setup, it was kind of impractical. Now it's actually possible. And I feel like YouTube isn't the main thing you've got to focus on anymore. You've got to have YouTube, you've got to have Twitch, and have your Twitter and Instagram on the side to kind of like brand yourself. But very quickly before I go, uh, Big Team Super Fiesta, I'm working on a really cool montage with that. Got a lot of killionaires, but I'm try trying to really focus on unique things as well. So I kind of expect that to be like an epilogue to Slayer. Um, I'm not sure if that will be out anytime soon it really depends on how quick i can clips that's gonna do it guys thank you so much for watching i'm excited to read your comments and see what your suggestions are what would you like to see going into halo infinite what content would you like to see i think a mixture of halo 5 and mcc with some streams some instagram and twitter uploads would be great but that's just my opinion i'd love to hear yours thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye